Hi, this is Derek the Nitwit, and happy Tuesday, everyone. If this is your first time here, thanks for checking me out. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for being loyal. So, today, today's Tuesday. So, Tuesday tends to be laundry day and grocery shopping day. And I get, I also had to go and mail some packages today, and I get all the way to the bus terminal, because the the post office is right by the bus terminal, so it's just go there and mail the packages, then get back on the bus and go to the laundry. I get all the way to the post office, okay, go to the post office, mail my packages, find out why they didn't put my mail on hold, which for some reason anything I do on the, online on the web, USPS website doesn't get forwarded to the, um, the actual post office. So they never put my mail on hold while I was on vacation, and thankfully... The good neighbor collected like 90% of the packages. The crackheads had a couple packages that they brought to me. I'm ignoring that phone. No one good calls me on that phone. No one I know calls me on that phone. And David collected a couple packages for, for me. So I got all my stuff eventually. Um, I think. I mean, there I, anything that I was looking for. You know, I did receive. I've still got some eBay packages coming. Um, but yeah, my mail wasn't on hold. But anyway, I went to the post office, mailed my packages, bought, you know, and then remembered, oh, I gotta buy stamps. Turn around, buy stamps. Leave, walk the two blocks, or the block, actually, whatever it is, half a block, back to the bus station, the, the terminal to catch the, net, the bus to go to the laundry. And I figured, okay, well, I've got time. I'm gonna go get a drink. Can't find my wallet. I know I had, I know I brought my wallet because I had to use it at the post office. So this whole time I'm hauling my laundry with me and go up to the post office. They had my wallet, thankfully. So get it and go back and do the best in laundry. And as I'm walking back to the bus um, terminal the second time, I realized I forgot to bring a crochet project with me or knitting project. Just I forgot to bring something with me. So I sat there and played games on my phone and just about killed the battery. Actually, I did kill the battery and phone for it before I made, eventually made it home. And um, apparently they left a voicemail. So I got back, I did my laundry, went grocery shopping, stopped at a um, hardware store, picked up an eyeball so I could hang my hammock chair. And so now I'm, I got home and... Um, Put the groceries up, put the clean laundry up, finish the scrunch I was working on, watch a couple videos, really, and then, so now I'm like, okay, I need to start a new project, because I have all this yarn, and I have a dilemma. I have so much yarn, I don't know what to do. I mean, look at this. That whole, oops, all of that, that's all my yarn, I can't even get it in the camera. There we go. All of that is yarn. Okay, not the dresser, not the trash can. And you know, there are there's the the fun um Mexico yarn. The you know, then there's the fun um bag of day giveaway yarn that I got. <coughs> so because you know I can't figure out what to do. And the aorta, the the not the aorta, the crochet harp that I was making for my doctor, that's on hold because the aorta is giving me fits. And I'm just frustrated with it, so I'm setting it to the side. And if, you know, I'll either go back and finish it or I'll turn the heart into a cat toy. It doesn't actually look like a heart until you get to the um, veins and arteries that got it. I did finish, you know, this made a little scrunchy. I like it. I mean, I seriously, I have no need for it, but I have, they're fun to do. And it, I made this out of, this was out of the Mexican yarn. This was the cheap, the cheap, cheap Mexican yarn. And it actually works up a lot softer than I was expecting, considering how it felt just in the, you know, in the package. And I did notice, because I kept wondering, I was like, why do they, all the packages have a little bit of string hanging out? It's, it's how they dispense it. You just pulls out of there. That is so neat. I wish that they would do... Why is my voice so high? <coughs> Hang on, let me hit puberty again. Uh, 
Okay, that's a little bit better. So, um, I wish that, yeah, more companies would actually package yarn like that. Because it just pulls out and it's so nice. And the yarn stays clean and my cats can't attack the ball and chew it in pieces. So anyway, so I've got a list of options for um, what project I should do. Because I can do washcloths. Um, I've got a couple Doctor Who theme ones. And I've got a couple other regular ones. Uh, the Doctor Who ones are knitting. I've got the other ones are, are crochet. But I could make washcloths because I do have some yarn that I got that specifically was to make for um, washcloths or dishcloths. You know, they're not, they're just out of cotton. They're not the scrubby stuff. I found a pattern for a jellyfish. And I found a pattern for a frog. And those can both be made out of the cotton that I got in Mexico. Excuse me. There's a pattern I found that I like that's for a hooded cardigan that would be made out of some of the yarn from um, the Bag of Day winnings. And I thought, I mean, you know, I did get some small yarn, so I thought maybe, you know, this now's the time to learn how to make a doily. Um, cement the fact that I'm getting older, you know. Or, I know that um, Tammy Webb will like this one. I can always work on my diamond painting because it's a custom one of my cats. See, I'll show you, well, I'll show you this. But this picture, let me move the lamp so you can see. And I can't figure out how to aim it. There we go. That picture from when Little Miss was a kitten. Um... That I got that one, a custom diamond painting made of that picture. So I could work on that. I could work on my latch chick rug. So, you know, what I would like everyone to do is if you just put in the comments, you know, what project you think I should do. Should I do the washcloths? And if it's the washcloths, well, do what I do knit washcloths or crochet washcloths. And um, should I do the jellyfish? Should I do the frog? Should I do the hooded cardigan? Should I learn how to do doilies? Should I work on the diamond painting? Or should I work on the latchet rug kit? So that is where I need help. So, now for the rest of this week, now my creative arts group didn't happen yesterday because of the holiday. Today we did laundry and grocery shopping. And tomorrow I go see my medical doctor, and since I have insurance now, and this will be the first time I've actually been able to see him in two years, a little over two years, and he is an awesome doctor, so I'm kind of thrilled to get to go back to see him, although I'm not thrilled to get on the scale because, you know, vacation weight gain. Um, calories don't count when you're on vacation, but as soon as that plane lands, all the calories come jump on you. And... So that's what I got scheduled for Wednesday. Thursday is therapy. So Little Miss will get to go to therapy with me. And Friday I might actually have nothing on the schedule. Friday might be a no pants day. No people day. You see my sign up here? Home is where the people aren't. And that one and then my other one here you get a little tour of my house I like my selfie stick I can move around this one when you really really want to slap someone do it just make sure to say mosquito when you do so got that um also I look not that you okay I got more patches in the mail so that and my I got my zip up hoodie is washed so that I can start so I want to start putting patches all over it so um that's another thing that's not in the list of things of you know what project I should start next just because it's I mean how long is it going to take me to sew on Two or three patches on two, or not so one, but iron on patches. So, 
anyway, that's where I am for today. And just chilling out, literally, because it's cold in here because I don't turn the heater on. I don't even have to pay utilities, and I still have an issue with turning the heater on for some reason. It's not... Okay, if I'm cold, if I'm chilled, my sister would be freezing. So I would say it's probably... High 50s, low 60s in here? It's probably low 60s. So, um... It makes the cats cuddle with me more. But anyway, make sure to call, leave a comment down below of you know what project I should start next. Like the video if you liked it. Um, share it if you could. I because I'm still working on growing my channel, getting up to a thousand subscribers so that I can get monetized. Because um, I think I've decided that once I get monetized, I'll do a giveaway. I'm not sure what I'll give away yet, but it may it may be. Like a gift card somewhere just because that would be the easiest way to not have to worry about shipping and all kinds of stuff. Um, you see all my super long knitting needles that are hanging there just so that they can straighten out. Um, got those from Wish. But anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what I need to do. Like, and sub um, like the video. Share the video. Subscribe if you're not. And I will see you again tomorrow.